Hi guys, in this video we're going to pair Visual Studio with uh, Unity so that we're able to edit some of the code. Now in Unity Hub, if you go to projects, you should be able to find your project that you uh, created previously, which is test studio underscore one. Click on that, that should go away and start up Unity. Whilst it's doing that, let's have a look at our Visual Studio installer. This is the software that you're going to use in order to install your Visual Studio uh, Community Edition or some other edition. The version that we need is at least 16.1 um, because that, I think, is the version that um, had all the required um, linking stuff fixed. And if you go to well, if you go to the available tab, it will show you what versions you can install. And then when you're installing Visual Studio, you need to make sure to have certain components. In terms of workloads, I think you're able to select this game development with Unity and that should give you everything you need. But I will just show you the individual components that I have to make sure that your environment is very close to what I'm going to use <coughs> for lectures. Uh, yep, so just look at the ones that are ticked and then you may want to tick them as well. This is installation that works for Unity and Unreal. And since Unreal is something that you're going to study in the second year, might as well download those as well. And the one particular thing that you definitely need to enable is Visual Studio Tools for Unity. <coughs> and then just click Install, um, all the things that you need. And try running Visual Studio um, separately. You should have a Visual Studio um, icon somewhere on desktop. Next thing to do is to pair our Unity installation with Visual Studio. In Assets, if you right click, Create, C Sharp Script. Let's call it um, Sample Script. Uh, it will generate the sort of uh, basic boilerplate for you. But what we're interested in is being able to edit it in Visual Studio. So if we go to Edit and Preferences, where it says External Script Editor, if you select, by default, it's probably not Visual Studio. So you will need to go to Browse and then find the um, either desktop link or the executable for Visual Studio uh, where you installed. Visual Studio. Once you do that, it should uh, hopefully recognize Visual Studio as an external editor. Then, just in case, you might want to regenerate project files. And then, if that's all gone correctly, then you should be able to just double click the script and it should open up Visual Studio 2019. What you want in particular is that it says assembly C sharp over here. If it says miscellaneous, that means there's something that's not linked quite correctly. And then we need to uh, look at that on an individual basis, potentially either during lectures or during one of the tutorial sessions. So I'm going to increase this to 150% so you can um, easily see this. And another easy way to check if everything is correct, if you just type debug and the ID gives you an option like this, then it's all fine. Let's do debug log and something like start. Control S and then go back to Unity and it should update what you currently have, debug log. 
and then that's everything that we need right now we don't want to be changing anything else so if you're able to complete um, this sample script link it with Visual Studio um, make it editable in Visual Studio and then so that the ID helps you with um, the IntelliSense which is the thing that's called for things when it shows uh, where you can type and then go back to Unity, and if the thing that you edited is there, then we're happy. At this point, we're happy. And in future sessions, we're going to be adding more stuff and actually playing around with Unity itself, now that the setup is out of the way. Okay, I'll see you in the next session, and thanks for watching.